Hi, I'm Michael Sinoff, founder and CEO of HardToFindSeminars.com. For the last five years, I've interviewed the world's best business and marketing minds. Now my challenge is to build the world's largest free resource for online, downloadable audio business interviews. I've learned a lot in the last five years, and today I'm going to show you the skills you need to survive. Michael. How are you doing today? Good. I've been painting away, listening to some really good stuff. How long have you been painting? Well, I started in college in the summer of 99. That was just kind of a summer job, and I wanted to quit the next day because I hated it. The first day you wanted to quit? Yeah, I was taping off windows for the guy because they were going to come behind me and spray the siding, and I was just like, I can't do this job. It's just not for me, so... I called up the other place I was working at and said, can I get my job back? And they said, no, I'm sorry. So I kind of had to keep doing it. Yeah, did you get used to it finally? Yeah, and, you know, I got good at it. Did it kind of just in the summers. I graduated college and pretty much fell back into it more full-time. And I've been doing it full-time probably for the last five years now. Do you have a crew or you do it all yourself? If the job is big enough, I'll bring in some helpers. Otherwise, I try to do it on my own. As I grow my business, I'll definitely need to bring in more helpers, more crews. So that's kind of the goal, I guess. Have you ever averaged out like per hour? What do you end up making per hour? Do you have an idea or do you quote everything different? Have you ever figured that out? Well, I just did my taxes for last year, so I could tell you what I made after paying all my subcontractors and after deducting. Last year, I only worked 11 months, and I made 35000 so I don't know what that factors out per hour. That's after taxes and everything? It's not after taxes, but it's after paying for all my... You were self-employed, right? Right. Where are you located again? In St. Paul, Minnesota. Okay, so you're self-employed. Did your accountant take out self-employment tax, and you paid income tax on your earned income as a sole proprietor? Right. So that's pretty high. That's almost close to 50%. Do you realize that? I mean, if you did it according to the books and everything, and I, but by the time you paid self-employment tax, and did you pay into Social Security, do you know? Like with your accountant, did they do that for you? That's something I still need to pay. Not that you're not doing it kosher, but I know when I was self-employed, you get to pay self-employment tax of around 15%. Right. Don't quote me exactly, but it's ballpark. And then Social Security tax, and then your income tax. As a sole proprietor, it's astronomical. It's almost like 40%. So let's just say 30 thousand that's after expenses times point sixty is what you're gonna basically keep. You're looking at about eighteen thousand a year. Eighteen thousand divided by twelve, about fifteen hundred bucks a month. Yeah, that doesn't sound like much. Divide that by four, about three hundred and seventy five bucks a week. Do you think you're working 40-hour weeks? I probably average 30 hours just calculating the slow times and stuff. If you really break it down, let's say you're working 30 hours a week, you make about $12.50 an hour. That's pretty cheap. After taxes and after all the expenses and everything, it's good to see exactly what you're really putting in your pocket. I did this for another painter. I think I told you I was going to send you to that recording. Did I ever send you that link? I didn't get that. I've got to send that to you. There's another painter just like you, and we did the same thing with him. He was only making like five bucks an hour by the time he was finished. It's crazy because I charge probably almost four times that per hour. Yeah, I know. It gets eaten up in taxes and your supplies and your costs, and you got no leverage when you're trading your time for dollars, you know, like what you're doing. It's difficult, but you got to see what you're making. But the good news is there's better ways to make money. Definitely. Kind of what I pretty much understand. And You know, I think I'm making all this money because I'm charging $40 an hour, and I do a job, and it takes me a week, and I just took home a couple thousand dollars in a week. Well, it kind of started a few years ago where I was looking into doing some marketing for my painting, and I came across Jay Abraham. Actually, a guy that I knew from church actually told me about Jay Abraham. I started looking into his stuff, and I must have got on some mailing lists. They sent me this email that said something about getting some marketing coaching, and then we set up a phone interview, and it was Prosper Learning Company out of, I think, Provo, Utah, I'm not sure. 
So I actually decided to accept their offer and sign up with their coaching, which a lot of it was Jay Abraham stuff. It included a weekly phone consultation. And I spent something like eight grand on that whole thing. And wow. How long ago was that? I think two years ago. Okay, so look at the leverage. That was Jay Abraham's name on that. And what he was promoting was a coaching deal. Actually, Jay Abraham's company. Yeah. I think this Prosper Learning Company. Did like a JV with them. Yeah, they bought the rights. They pretty much got all his material, and they were authorized to use it to resell it or whatever. Well, and how was that whole experience? Well, my coach really didn't know anything about painting and the industry, so a lot of it was helpful, but I didn't exactly follow through with everything I was supposed to do. What did you get for your money? What did they promise you? Well, they said if I follow all the steps, which was spending 10 to 20 hours a week on marketing, listening and following all the advice and doing all the homework, I don't remember exactly what they were promising, but they said that my business would grow. And I don't know if they put any dollar amount to it, but... I'm not the kind of person that was able to spend an extra 20 hours a week after painting for 40 hours. So I pretty much did the coaching and listened to the tape series, How to Get From Where You Are Now to Where You Want to Be. That was part of the deal. There was online resources, online curriculum that I could go through kind of as a module type thing. A lot of it was Jay Abraham stuff and other internet marketing materials. How much access did you have to your coach? You're listening to an exclusive interview found on Michael Sinoff's hardtofindseminars.com. I think it was about 8 to 12 weeks we would talk once a week. And it was the same person? Yeah. I think part of it was I wasn't spending the time I needed to to implement all the different things that Jay Abraham teaches, like setting up a joint venture or finding host beneficiaries to work with and really developing a USP and really implementing things. I have an easy time finding the information and grasping the concepts, but once it gets to the point of putting the concept into practice, I would say that's probably my number one weakness in business. Well, it's everyone's. It's execution. It's just doing it. That's the thing. That's hard for everybody. And I tried a few different things. I tried contacting different companies to partner with, but none of those companies had a clue about marketing, so they thought my ideas were either stupid or they just didn't have the time themselves to try to partner with me on some things. Right. You're learning all this great stuff about Jay Abraham and marketing, and if you go trying to share joint ventures and host parasite relationships and lifetime value and marginal net worth, and you start trying to explain you're excited about it, and you can see the potential, how it's just incredible what it can do, but most businesses have no clue what this is. They're going to think you're from Mars. Right. So you've got to put it into their terms. If you're going to approach someone and say, hey, how would you like to do a deal? You just put in the down home language. What's the deal? Or right, here's the deal. I'm going to do this, and you're going to do this, and we're going to share the money. You know, you just do it simple. You don't have to set up a deal and explain joint ventures and all that fancy marketing words that we learn from all this stuff. All right, so let me answer. What do you want to accomplish today on this call? What would you like to accomplish? You want to get out of painting? You want to still do painting and earn more money? What's the ultimate goal here for you? For me, I've just kind of caught vision of information marketing or selling information. Well, especially from listening to you and just learning about it from some of these resources that I got. Once you have information and you can it and clone it, it doesn't cost you anything to ship it out to people. My problem is I have so many good ideas on what to come up with and different products and potential affiliate products that I could market. I can't really focus on one thing. Hi, it's Michael Sinoff with HardToFindSeminars.com. Thanks for watching this video. You know, many of my interviews last 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour, sometimes even up to two and a half hours long. They're actual mini-seminars, and you've just listened to a short sample of just one of over 117 hours of exciting, hard-hitting, mind-blowing interviews on how to make money in direct mail, advertising, copywriting. I assure you, there is not a resource anywhere 
anywhere on the Internet or on the planet that comes close to the free information I provide at hardtofindseminars.com. So go right now to hardtofindseminars.com, and you'll have free access to 117 hours of audio interviews with typed word-for-word downloadable transcripts and downloadable MP3 files. Please browse some more of the videos or go right directly to hardtofindseminars.com. Thanks for watching.